decided to take a little walk today. Don't really like to spend so much time alone, but I've found sometimes my own company is better than anyone else's. I've become so disillusioned, so cynical in my old age. I I miss the old days. It seems like our society has become so uptight. We've become so conservative. <clears throat> Even the so-called liberals seem very conservative to me. I miss the 70s and the 80s people had fun. People were on drugs. People were drinking a lot and taking cocaine and psychedelics. Maybe, maybe life was a little more dangerous then, but we had more fun. Nowadays, everywhere I go, I just see signs signs everywhere camping prohibited drinking prohibited dogs prohibited no bicycles no gathering of rocks no gathering of twigs it just seems like everything is totally over regulated I actually saw a sign by the side of the highway here in California that said, this area for picnicking only. I felt like, oh, I'd better leave. I'm not picnicking. I'm going to get in trouble. I don't have a bag lunch with me. still love to get out in nature and see the beauty. It's the Pacific Ocean in front of me. Thousands of miles of water between us and Japan. edge of civilization here. Once you get out there into the water, you're in the wilderness. Anything can happen there. It's the final frontier, as they say. Looking forward to our next step in human evolution, the, the next step in the human adventure, the exploration of space. I think I was born a little too soon. I wish I'd been born at a time when I could take part in that. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a young man. But the space race took a back seat to feudal warfare. China, Russia, the United States fighting over the last remaining scraps of resources. Instead of focusing on what's important, 
for the survival of our species, which would be space exploration. Carl Sagan said that all civilizations either become spacefaring or extinct. And that's the truth of it. Wherever you go, there's planets, planets with intelligent life. No reason to think that there's not intelligent life on every Earth-like planet in the galaxy. And our galaxy is only one of billions of galaxies. So, who knows? Every star we look up at might have a Earth-like planet orbiting it. Civilization. Intelligent life. Either they learn to escape their gravity wells and explore space, or they eventually go extinct. No one will ever know they were there. Same thing's going to happen to us. So, I'm sorry that I'm not going to be part of that. But I'm glad I got to party in the 70s and the 80s. I'm glad that I got to take cocaine and take psychedelics and drink all night with my friends. Stay up and watch the sun come up. Feel that sweet sickness of hangover as we would go out and get some breakfast. Eat huevos rancheros in the morning. Seems like human life is just too short, you know? We have fun when we're young somewhere in our 30s and then we start to die and it's all over I'm not saying we can't have fun in our old age it's just that it's a different kind of fun it's not as fun it's a muted fun a stunted fun it's a uh, a more reserved kind of fun we have. All we can do is observe the passing of our lives, look at the joy and the happiness of the youth, and try to enjoy what little of it we have left and hope for a painless death. Everywhere I see warnings. Fragile area, stay on trails. Explore the tide pools with care. Remember when I was a kid, there were tide pools everywhere. Now it seems like I haven't seen a tide pool in years with life in it. waves look so small to me from here but when I see the spray go up into the air as they crash into the rocks I realize they're actually pretty big waves looks like there's a way to get down here I could climb down there if I wanted
don't think I'll do it today. There's layers of rock. Each layer represents thousands of years. Thousands of years of geological activity and then they were all turned on their side as they crashed into the Pacific Plate. And that's it. That's our existence. Millions and billions of years for humanity to evolve. Only 5,000 years for civilization to grow to what it is today. And not much time left to escape our gravity well or become extinct. This is the human condition.